Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. I have maybe more of a PSA than a tutorial and maybe a suggestion for a workflow that might be a little bit faster when working with VDBs, but I'm also curious how you use them. So let me know. Here's the situation. So if we use VDBs and um, we type in volume into our search, if you're using Octane, it's pretty easy. There is a Octane volume loader. If you're using Redshift though, um, I've been using the RS volume for a long time, but I've had a couple people write me and say that they use this volume loader. So there's actually two ways that you can load volumes if you're using Redshift. So we're gonna double click on the RS volume and then let's double click on the volume loader. So with these two objects, I've been thinking about which one I should use to speed up my workflow. And I wanna pass something by you really quick. So let's load up our RS volume object with our VDB. And I want you to count how many steps I am doing. So we're just gonna load up a volume. So I have a concert fire here. And now that I've loaded that, I have to go to the animation tab. I have to change it from uh, off to simple. And then I have to click detect frames. And then it's going to set up my VDB animation here. And it's very small. We've made all of our VDBs in Houdini and they make things based on a meter as being the default. And when you import them into Cinema 4D, it uses centimeters. So this is way too small. So there is no way to change that in here except for to go to the coordinates and change the scale. And meters would be 100 times bigger than centimeters. So there is our object right here. But I can't see it, right? So it, I have like a a bounding box around it, but I can't see it, which is annoying. So what we would do is go to object and then we would find our preview. We would turn that to points and it takes a while to calculate and then maybe we'll kick that up to 100. And now we're all set. All right, so I have my VDB volume all set up and ready to go. All right, let's go to that volume loader and let's do the same thing in here and we'll see how many steps it takes. So we'll open up our folder and bring in the VDB. And you'll notice it actually preloads it with all the animation setting already set up. So I don't have to calculate anything or do any of that. This next thing is I now have a scale option with the centimeters and I can just flick that over to meters and I'm done. And oh, look at that, I have a preview. And not only do I have a preview without going into the points mode and changing everything, the preview is way more realistic to the point where I can go to my RS sky and rotate it and it's even accepting the shadows so I can light it a lot easier. So you would think that these green points would be a lot faster to work with, but actually if you uh, turn those off and just use this one, this is actually pretty speedy to work with and it's really easy to put into your scene and kind of composite and see what's going on. All right, so I'm gonna do that again one more time and we're going to see how fast I can do this with a different object here. So we're gonna bring in a smoke trail this time. So I have my smoke trails, we'll go to animation, simple, detect frames, we'll go back to our, our preview, we'll turn that to points, we'll turn that to 100, we'll go back to our coordinates, we'll go to scale, we'll make that 100, and now we have our smoke trails. All right, let's do it with the other one. Let's bring in our smoke trail, hit open, and we'll flick that over to meters and we are done. That is it. It is already set up. And now if we zoom in, which one would you rather work with? Would you rather work with this pile of green dots here? Or would you rather work with this smoke trail that looks pretty darn realistic? So there you go. The volume loader is, by my accounts anyway, the clear winner, unless I'm missing something. There are a few extra settings that you can use in the RS volume, but this one is just so much faster to use and it's so much easier to composite stuff into your scene because you can visualize things quite a bit easier. So I've switched over to using the volume loader. And I also really like the fact that you can change the scale from centimeters to meters with one little toggle and you have the correct scale for your object. I hope you found that useful and interesting. If you want some VDBs, we got over 2000 of them. You can check them out at the Pixel Lab. Otherwise, we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.